A couple of months ago, I got to try out the 15 by 70 Skymaster binoculars from Celestron. And I was positively surprised by the viewing experience. Not that I expected the Celestrons to be bad, but more because up until then I wasn't really sold on the idea that using binoculars alongside your main telescope could be beneficial for the experience of observing the night sky. And the Skymaster changed that. But the biggest problem I had with that particular model was that it was a bit heavy for handheld observations. In other words, after several seconds of pointing the thing up, my hands would start to shake, making longer observations without a tripod difficult. Well, in today's video I have a much smaller pair of binoculars with me, the 12 by 42 mm from Adacion. And they promise to fix the shortcomings of bigger and heavier binoculars while still offering a good viewing experience. So let's see if this really is the case. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to Big Observatory. One of the biggest advantages of binoculars is that they are usually smaller and much lighter compared to telescopes, making them much more likely to be used on a given night. You see, no matter how big and powerful a telescope is, the best device will still be the one you use the most. And if a big telescope is too big or heavy, it might not get used that often. This aligns pretty well with my experiences so far. For example, even though I love the views through my 12-inch probe, more often than not, I end up grabbing the smaller 4-inch Mac instead mainly because it's lighter and easier to transport outside. So, besides improving observing sessions by using them alongside the main telescope, binoculars might also be a serious alternative for moments where you don't feel like carrying your main rig outside. So, what about the 12 by 42 binoculars from Adacion? Let's start with some information about the company, or better said, the lack of it. Adacion isn't a very popular brand. In fact, I never heard of them until they contacted me a few weeks back. They offer only two products, a 12x56 spotting scope and the 12x42 binoculars I'm reviewing today. And both these products seem to be very well received in their respective communities, which got me very intrigued. So after talking to them, they kindly agreed to send me a pair to review, which is very generous of them. They arrived in this rather ordinary looking box, but inside you'll find a microfiber cloth to clean the lenses, a nice, soft, comfortable neck strap for the binoculars, a smartphone adapter so you can attach your smartphone directly to one of the binoculars eyepieces and take pictures and videos with it, a plastic tripod adapter to use in combination with the also included small tabletop tripod. There is also a soft padded case for the binoculars and of course the binoculars themselves including dust caps for all four lenses. As the product name suggests, the binoculars offer a 12 times magnification and an aperture size of 42 mm. So, at the first glance, these look like ordinary small binoculars, not particularly interesting, especially for astronomy applications. But if we dig a little bit deeper and look at the optics used here, we find a few hints that indicate that these binoculars might offer something special. For example, all glass surfaces, this means the objective lenses, the eyepieces and the prism inside, are all fully multi-coated. Normally, this is a feature reserved for the more premium binoculars. The Skymaster from Celestron, I mentioned earlier, only comes with fully multi-coated optics in the Pro version, which costs almost twice as much as the regular version I reviewed. 
The 12 by 42 Adacio also uses a roof prism design with relatively large 16.5 mm prisms made out of quality BAK4 optical glass that also feature a transmission rate of 99.6%. If you don't already know, there are two main types of binoculars. The ones that employ roof prisms and binoculars that use a poro prism design. Both have their pros and cons, with the poro prism versions being the simpler and more affordable option that can produce high quality images. Roof prism binoculars are more complex and therefore more expensive while being able to produce even better images. The eyepieces of the 12 by 42 binoculars from Adacion offer 18 mm large lenses and a generous eye relief of 19.6 mm, which allows for a very comfortable viewing experience. The roof prism design of this pair of binoculars also allows for them to be lighter and more compact when compared to other models in the same category, further improving the portability and the viewing experience. Talking about viewing experience, the 12 by 42 binoculars from Adacio surprised me with sharp, bright and contrast rich views with very little optical aberrations. There is a hint of chromatic aberrations noticeable like with all achromatic refractor designs, but it's nothing to worry about. The only thing that really bothers me are the internal reflections or lens flaring that are present when observing bright objects like the Moon or Jupiter. Even though all the optical surfaces are fully coated, there still seems to be some room for improvement in this department. But to be fair, these binoculars aren't made with only astronomy applications in mind. They are supposed to be more of a good all-rounder for night and daytime observations. And during daytime observations, you typically don't run that often into situations where objects are orders of magnitude brighter than their surroundings. Nevertheless, this is something to keep in mind when considering this pair of binoculars for observing the night sky. Otherwise, the field of view is flat and wide enough to offer a nice immersive viewing experience, in part also thanks to the 7 degrees of true field of view. Build quality wise, the 12 by 42 binoculars from Adacion are very well put together. There is nothing flimsy or loose on them and they certainly don't feel cheap. Even though the housing is completely made out of not so premium ABS, it is very sturdy and robust nonetheless. And this successfully conveys the feeling that the binoculars won't completely break apart if I were to accidentally drop them. These binoculars are also waterproofed. While it's not to such an extent that you can simply submerge them in water without damaging them, please don't do that, but light rain or dew shouldn't harm them, which is always a nice feature to have. Speaking of features, I should also mention that the eye guards for both eyepieces can be extended with a nice twisting mechanism. Fully extended, they lock into place offering a very good shielding against outside sources of light. The right eyepiece can also be rotated in a smooth and stepless way to adjust the diopter, should this be necessary. These being an entry-level pair of binoculars, Adacion tried to make them as appealing as possible for a large variety of target groups, which is why they also included a smartphone adapter kit inside the box. With this adapter, it is possible to take decent pictures and videos with your smartphone through these binoculars. As you might expect, the images won't be spectacular, but way better compared to pictures taken by holding the phone up to the eyepiece by hand. Even though all of the components for this adapter are made out of plastic, they are solid and sturdy enough to not be a complete pain in the butt while setting everything up, which is definitely better than others have to offer. So if you are interested in something like this, know that the included adapter will make it possible.
Comparing the 12 by 42 binoculars from Adacion with the 15 by 70 SkyMaster from Celestron, I can confirm that the image quality of both binoculars is roughly on the same level. Sure, the SkyMaster offer brighter views thanks to the significantly wider aperture, but in terms of contrast and sharpness, there isn't much of a difference. Here you can really see how much of a difference fully multi-coated optical surfaces like those of the Dacion can make. Build quality-wise, I would say that the Celestron feels a bit better when holding it in hand, but not by much. Where the Adacion shines though, is size and weight. Being so small and light, I didn't have any problems keeping them pointing up for minutes without the use of a tripod. This wasn't at all possible with the SkyMaster because of its weight. What Adacion offers here is a very compelling package, a well-built, compact and lightweight pair of binoculars capable of offering decent views and a good overall viewing experience, both during night and daytime observations. Sure, there are some less than ideal aspects to consider, like the internal reflections that are sometimes visible or the less than premium build materials used for the housing. But for not even 70 bucks, this is more than okay. So if you are looking to get into astronomy or are searching for a little but capable companion to use alongside your main telescope, I encourage you to check out these binoculars. All right, that's been it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next video.